Mikael, mm. are you sleeping again? No, I'm just resting my eyes. Wake up! Mm, what? What is this? A cell phone? Yeah, I know. And th that's not what it here. What is this? You posted it. You posted it, didn't you? Oh, you mean the Q&A? Yes. Why would you post it? Uh, because you said we were running out of video ideas and then this Q&A yeah, thing... Bap, 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 bap. First of all, I never ran out of ideas. We still have song covers, dramas, sketches, pranks. Yeah, and those are very cliche. Even this sketch is my idea. Uh, and second of all, nobody's ever gonna notice that irrelevant story of yours. I believe nobody's ever gonna ask anything about you in that. Is that a doorbell? No, it's not. Of course, it's the doorbell, genius. But we don't have doorbells. Of course we don't. <laughs> I just used sound effects. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. Yes. Good morning, Mikael. I got new notifications for you. Wow, that's great. I am the notifications in Facebook. Dude, it's Facebook. Come in, come in. Thank you. You were saying my story was insignificant, right? Well, that was before, Kael. Come on, don't live in the past. And that nobody would react to. Past is past. Never to this car. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you got? Okay, so you got five notifications, three of which are from the people who reacted to your memes. Yes. Nice! Wait, wait. What are the reactions? Oh, it's a haha, -ha, sir. Nice, yes. yes. Nice! And the other two would be the people who reacted to your story. You know the Q&A? Yeah, that's all I got. Aha! Uh -huh. I told you, nobody's gonna ask something about you. That Q&A thing you posted, nobody is ever gonna ask a single question. What is that now? Yes? Good day, sir. You got five new messages. Six new messages. Nine new messages! Uh huh. Who's it from? Oh, it's from the story you posted, sir. You know, the Q&A thing. <laughs> what did I tell you, huh? I told you this is gonna work. I'm gonna go and rest my eyes. <laughs> I don't know how to end this skit. Uh... About me, Kael. Hey guys, thank you so much for participating in this Q&A. Yeah, we thought nobody's gonna respond to this thing. But you made this all possible because of your participation and your effort to ask me those questions. For those of you who don't know what's happening here, basically I posted a story in Facebook, this story. I asked you guys to ask me something and I'll answer that in this video. And so here we are. I don't have any other social media accounts, so I just received questions from that story. <laughs> and without further ado, let us get into the Q&A. Question number one. So yeah, any tips on how to become a better singer? This question is from Nino Tums the third. Tums is actually my frats during the orientation in the minor seminary. Also, he's a good actor. He played as an apostle of the musical Jesus Christ Superstar. Now back to the question. Spoiler alert, I'm not a singer, as in a singer, a good singer, a professional singer. I'm just a guy, typical guy who knows how to sing. But since you asked this, I'm gonna give you three things that may or may not help you to improve your singing. You may or may have heard this before, but here they are. First, have an interest in singing or have an interest to sing. Everything starts from interest, okay? A guy likes a girl, a girl likes a guy. Pero kung why you say interest ni mo? Ow. Lo oi juka! Pathetic. In my case, I only liked singing when I was in grade 10 and before that I was like... Twinkle, twinkle, little star. But when I started to have interest in singing, things uh, changed a little bit better. Twinkle, twinkle, little Done. The second thing I want to share to you is practice, practice, and practice a lot. And the third thing would be to learn from a teacher, a coach, or a mentor. Have someone to teach you, it helps. In my case, I have been privileged to be in a school where we have a music director. And I tell you, that music director helped me a lot in my singing. Hey, Father William, if you're watching this, I want to say thank you so much. And for all the music teachers and everyone who coached me, who taught me how to sing more, better, thank you so much. Thank music you. directors actually transform you from this. Twinkle, twinkle, little. To this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I... I wonder what you are. So that was it. Get interested, practice, and get a mentor. And if everything fails, use autotune. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Question number two. How to be you, Pop? This is from my good friend Renato Falcon. Hey Falcon! 
actually in the Philippines there are two ways to interpret this question. The positive way and the negative way. The positive way. He meant, that's so dope. How to be you po? I wanna be just like you. The negative way. Wow, galing. How to be you po? Is po your name? For me, I'm gonna interpret this question in... Neither of them. <laughs> Why? Because it doesn't matter. You don't need to be like someone else. Be you. Yeah, it's true that we can admire people's abilities and success, but... Be you. You have your own style in achieving things. Be you. Be you. Don't be A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, W, X, Y, Z. If you're you, then don't try to become like the other letters. You have a significant role to play in the alphabet. You have a special role in this world, unique to everyone else. Just be you. And not letter S or M. Or A B C D A. Question number three. Kinsa ang person behind sa imong songs? Like each song jud kay lahi lahi nang a person. Laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. The pet names he. This question is from my cousin Micah. Hi Mike. Micah, why don't you have a profile pic? Vlog time. This is what she actually looks like in real life. This is Micah. It's her birthday today. Hey Mike, say something about yourself. I'm beautiful. I'm 20 years old. <laughs> Birthday, Mike. And then this is also my cousin Peter. Peter, say something. Yes, I'm yes, Peter, and, and my birthday is on July 26. Okay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> this is another cousin of mine, Ate Pippin and Ate Vivian. Vivian, say something about yourself. I'm 19 years old. <laughs> and Ate Naime, say something about yourself. Not nice. You're not nice. And she's the SK chairman in Alegria, guys. So beware of her. She's very powerful. <laughs> and my Lola. Say bye bye to the vlog, Mike. Ika mo itabong camera para nice ko ba? And the vlog time. Anyway, the person behind my first song, My Pagwala, is from Bantayan Island. I immediately told my dad about her, about how I liked her, and he was actually happy about it. <laughs> Lo and behold, her name is Ab. Don't you dare. <laughs> Pathetic. Okay, okay, okay. Don't you dare. You won't let me say it, do you? Don't you dare. Moving on, I made another three songs for one particular person, and her name is Ma. Don't you dare. Ouch. We don't say that here now. Lastly, my latest love song that I made was inspired by this one girl. I met her last year. She's super talented, intelligent, and beautiful. And she ghosted you. Shut up, I'm talking. And you can't help thinking of her once in a while. Dude, stop it. I'm helping you. Maybe she's watching this. Nope, she is not, and she will not. But she liked you. And you liked her. That was before. That was before. Oh... And guys, her name is... Next question! Who inspired you to do YouTube? This one is from Christian Marie Blanca. Hi, Chan. Chan is a humble rich kid guy and he was my classmate for, I think, two years. So, and comment, Chan, how many years tanga classmate? Who inspired me? Joel from Rumi Official and Ryan Higa from Niga Higa. Question number five. What's in your bucket list? This is from Christine Saberon. She was also my classmate together with Chan. Hi, Christine. Bucket list. First, finish college, help my family, own a studio, and then be in heaven after I die. That's pretty much the general bucket list I have. Comment said Christine, pila na taka years nga classmate. Question number six. Biggest fear? Relationships? Status? Last song you listened to? Favorite song? This is from Jezreel Cisneros. If I'm not mistaken, he's a brother of Merbili Cisneros, also my classmate. Am I right? Jezreel, comment down below if I'm right. Correct me if I'm wrong. To answer that, biggest fear? To be damned in hell. Aye. Relationship status? Single. Aye. Favorite song? For the sake of this video, I'm gonna say Someone You Love by Louis Capaldi and for the religious song, I'm gonna choose I Love You Lord. Yeah. Next question. Question number seven. What keeps you going in life, Koya? This question is from my friends, Josh. Hi, Josh. Thank you for the question. What keeps me going in life for me is that the thought of not giving up and also that there is always hope in every situation and the thought of that there is a bigger picture in everything that is happening in my life. You know, good or bad, there's a bigger picture behind all this. And all this boils up to one's prayer life and relationship between you and God, actually. Because if you have a good relationship and bond with God, pretty much you can overcome anything. Because He's with you, He's your strength, and you can go to Him, you can cry out to Him, you can pour 
out to him anything your troubles your trials your tribulations your frustrations anything you can go cry to him in front of him if you can he listens to you say to him lord i don't know what is happening in my life i'm frustrated i don't know what i'm gonna do but with you i am safe and i surrender everything to you i surrender my all to you and this is just a joke if god doesn't listen to you which is not really true but if he doesn't listen to you you can always go to our mother mama mary you can always go to his mother mama mary she's a very good consoler and she's a very good listener too she's her mother guys mama mary oh that was it what keeps me going in life is the thought of god and not giving up on him because he knows that i can do this and so you can do this too got a little emotional there or what <laughs> let's move on question number eight in sa iyo mong top one nga crush nga babae nga pwede ni mo pangoyaban actually ganun dili man ni mo mo tubag nga akong unang pangutana kung dili ni mo ganit tubag unang unang pangutana this one is from Nathaniel Kainya a good friend of mine in the seminary he was the former mayor in the minor seminary anyway well ding did you go katubaga na? <laughs> I can't answer that. Really, I can't answer that question because I don't know. I've never tried courting someone. I've never been into a relationship or what because I don't know how to do it. And besides, who would wanna go with a guy like this? Hey girl, you wanna go out with me? Puro lagi classmate ng utana. Question number nine. Ganong guapo kay Caster. This is from Joshua in Cabo, also my classmate from the minor seminary. A very good guy, a dancer, and draws very well. Well, there are two ways to interpret this question: the positive way or the negative way. Again, the positive way. Ganong guapo kay Caster. The negative way. Wow, ganong guapo kay Caster. Well, how to be your po? Is your name po? <laughs> Does this look handsome to you? Question number 10. Grabi maka deadline oi. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, I will ask you about your philosophy. Now we only live to die. I know your answer, pero kindly expound on it. Para na sa knowledge sa uban. This is from PJ Haino, my very intelligent classmate. Always top of the class, and I think she graduated as valedictorian in high school. Look at the question. Oh my god, bang bright good ba. You have a problem, guys. Oh no 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 no. Wait, actually, why don't you answer this one? Okay. First of all, let's check the question, okay? I never recall that I said that I owned such philosophy because you said... I will ask you about your philosophy, your philosophy, your philosophy. Actually, the simple philosophy I most often follow is the philosophy from St. John Bosco, which goes, run, jump, have fun, but avoid sin. Run, jump, have fun, but avoid sin. Secondly, I said this statement to a class where I was substituting one teacher who happened to be teaching a philosophy subject in our local school. What I meant in that statement was that I was giving an irony, an example of irony we have in this world. Like, why is orange called orange? Is it because of the color? Is orange a color or a fruit? Why do some people say they have more when they have less? Love your enemies? Why do we live but still die? in the end I mean what's the point of living if we still die in the end you know what I mean if you reached watching this far why haven't you still subscribed to this channel <laughs> yeah that was it my point is that philosophy can point out the many irony we have in this world but also the beauty of it maybe orange is just the exemption of being both a fruit and a color because if you put all things as both fruit and color then you would have to say that table is called a color and a thing and this camera is also a color and a thing which you know very confusing I don't know let me know what you think hey where are my philosopher friends comment down below okay maybe <laughs> there's really more in less because when you have less space in something because there is probably more that is filling when you have less space in the glass of water because you have more water that's filling it up you have less space in the glass of water but you have more space of it of water I don't know, how do you put that? Basta, kanang, kung ano'y tubig, kanang less. Oh, ang less, kung puno na siya, daghan ginang tubig. So, kanang, daghan siya, and yakan ni less ni siya, kanang ino, ana, madina lang god, ana. And then, so, when you have less, when you have less space, then you have more space of water. And when you have more space of water, you have less, and it's just, maybe we really need to love our enemies in this world, because by doing so, we can make a world a better place. For your information, out of tune, where are you? Maybe you are still aren't subscribed because you don't know how to subscribe. <laughs> Maybe we don't really need to live. 
forever in this world maybe we need to die because that's nature because if we don't die i don't know maybe we really need to die so that there's a thrill while living carpe diem we need to die because that's nature and you can't avoid it that was it i hope i answered that question pj thank you number 11 i have it number one <laughs> question number 11 ngano nabutan man ka kaayo og talented this is from miko my dancer classmate in high school what's up miko yeah yo miko hello with a miko with a oh whoa Miko, this question can be interpreted in two ways. Either, Mikael, why are you good and talented? Or, Mikael, why are you now good and talented? Before, you're nothing like this. Okay, I'll answer this way. We are all good and talented human beings, okay? And I am a human being, and I assume that I am good and talented at the same time. Maybe I'm good because I was raised good by my parents and then actually I'm not really that good I'm I'm sometimes stubborn and well everybody does that but I'm trying my best to be good I am talented maybe because I was influenced a lot by my family in terms of music and then and because of my friends and other influences in this world and I practiced and practiced question number 12 magpari kaya magpari kaya magpari kaya this question is from Zaira Bendul. Finally, someone who is not a classmate. <laughs> Do I want to become a priest? Yes. It all really depends on God's will, you know, if he really wants me to become a priest. But deep in me, yes. And I want you guys watching now to pray for me. If this is really God's will, then may he give me the strength and the courage and the perseverance to continue in pursuing the call for the priesthood. Pray for me, guys. Thank you for the question, Zaira. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, I have to be formal in this vlog now. Because I will become a priest. No one call me. Question number 13. What makes you motivated to make videos? This question is from Ken Horigome. He's a good friend. He's a YouTuber too. He does YouTube good. And now he's an animator. Check out his channel. Thank you, Ken. However, let me ask you the same question, Ken. What motivates you to be... What motivates you to make videos too in YouTube, huh? No, you can't do that. Why not? Because it's you who's being asked. Right, right, right. Okay, so for me, my motivation to make videos is that the thought of making other people smile and have a good time while watching these videos. I hope you're having a good time and the other thing that is motivating me to make videos is that I like to edit stuff I like to edit videos in particular I like to edit photos but videos is more something that is <laughs> why am I motivated to make YouTube videos because I want to make you happy yes and I want to make myself happy by editing videos simple as that okay also he does videos because of how about you can- I'm really interested too. Question number 14. Never gonna give you up cover when- Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you to- Done! I just did it! I'm gonna give you up, I'm gonna copyright claim. Question number 15. What is your channel going to be about? What are your favorite things to do? Who is Mikaelna? Chart. This question is from my classmate Marbili Cisnero. She's also a top student. I think she graduated as the salutatorian high school. Gonna give mga bright na mga bright puts mga Questions mga kuan ba? Who is Mikael Nes? What is your channel going to be about? Who is Mikael Nes? In general, my channel is gonna be uh, mainly about music and then maybe I'm gonna put skits. But in general, Guinea is about music. I don't know how this channel will progress, but music is the focus. Music is the music is the focus. Question number 16. Anong nindot kay Kagtingog House? Ang sayo sikreto. Please feature ko si mong vlogs. This question is from Robbie Ryan Isabello and he is currently the mayor in the college seminary right now. He's a good friend and he does his job very well. He's a very friendly guy and also he already graduated major in Mascom. I don't know, I can remember. And he's a part of the San Carlos Seminary Special Choir. Wow. And to answer that question, I said it before, I do not assume that I have a very nice voice, but if you insist, then I would say that I think I have a nice voice because I practice and practice and practice a lot and I learn from people who teach me how to sing better. Also, listen to your music director. You can learn a lot from them. Yeah. Okay, that's all for this video. There's still one question. Hi, Mikael. Do you watch your videos? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Well, maybe sometime. Bye bye, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Cha! There's still one question. And that's it!